Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to build the new Five Nights at Freddy's 4 map for Minecraft. Now I did go ahead and get to play a little bit of the Five Nights at Freddy's. I played all the little 8-bit areas and all that stuff and I really did enjoy it. I liked it a lot more than Five Nights at Freddy's 3 because Five Nights at Freddy's 3 really wasn't that scary. However, it's a very small map but I did do all the little 8-bit versions of it as well except for the outside because I'll leave that up to you guys. As you can see, it's very dark in here. So if we flip right here this little lever, it'll turn on the lights here. And if we turn around, we'll have our bed right here where those little Freddies pop up. And if we flip this down, the light can come on here as well. I do have it set up so you can turn on all the lights inside the house, but I want to keep it nice and dark. So I'm just going to keep this light on right here because the closet does work. If you flip up this lever, the closet closes. And if you flip it down, the closet does open up. And then obviously we have our two doors right here. If we go out to this door right here, we have our two windows. And then we have our nice little lamp down there at the end with our picture frame and all that stuff. There's not really too much on this map, like I said, but I did add in the little 8-bit versions. And if we run over here, if we <laughs> well, if we actually run like in the game where it goes like this uh, and then looks up, we have this version down right here. Now, as you can see, if you do play the game, there you can see the clock. You can see the clock at the end of the hallway right here. So that's how I added in the little 8-bit versions as well, because there is a part where the kid's walking around in the 8-bit version and the clock is down at the end of the hallway. So that's how I mashed everything up together. So if we flip this down, our lights will come on in here as well. And that's pretty much just the entire map that you actually get to play through. So if you don't want to do the rest of the map, that's fine. You can just do this part. However, I did add in the other stuff. So I'm actually going to go over here into the living room. And I'm going to turn on the lights for the entire thing. So right here in the little 8-bit version, when he's walking around right here, as you see, there's the TV. So as you can see, there's the TV, the big blue couch. And we also have that little stand right there. And then obviously there's the clock with the picture frames on the wall. And then down right here is kind of where the animatronics will go through. They'll kind of poke their heads out right here and poke their heads out right here. Like I said, this is completely up to you guys. Minecraft's a big game. You can make the house whichever way you want. It really doesn't show anything back here. So this whole entire thing is up to you guys. You don't have to build it the exact same way I did. And then right here is that little area where you get like 30 seconds where you got to flash the light onto that like spring trap doll that sits over here. I did make it so you can sit down in the little seat where the spring trap doll is. And this area right here. Now this area I did put on the first floor. However, when you're playing the game it feels like this is on the second floor this feels like the the attic i guess because if you notice there's a window like up higher where uh where the little spring trap doll is so it does feel like an attic so if you want to take this part and chop it off and put it on the second floor go ahead and do that i really highly recommend doing that however i'm going to be keeping everything on the first floor and then right over here to the right we have i think the a little girl's room or something i don't know whose room it is but she has usually mangle right here on the floor there's a mangle doll and then she has a little lamp right here and then the bed right here as well and then there's the flower painting obviously there's no flower paintings in here and like i said it doesn't show these rooms at all so you could do whatever you want guys you can do whatever you want with all these rooms maybe put a kitchen a bathroom and all that good stuff and now we can go ahead and head outside i do have it set tonight so let me set it today really fast like that there we go we'll set it today and then we can go outside and look at everything because like i said guys it's not that big so here's everything there's the redstone to just activate all the Oop, this doesn't reach all the way over here i guess i'm gonna have to put a repeater right here but this is just to turn on all the lights you don't need to put that into here if you're uh, building this also just a heads up when you are playing five nights at freddy's 4 the little kid does walk out of five nights at freddy's 2 from the right hand side so if you built the five nights at freddy's 2 map that i showed a while ago if you put it right to the left of it that will make it perfect guys because if you want if you did play the game yet when you're playing as the kid as the 8-bit version he comes out of five nights at freddy's 2 pretty much goes down a nice little walkway and then walks this way and then he's back at his house so it's not really far apart there's a park in between his house and five nights at freddy's too so if you're going to build this the same exact thing all you have to do is put the house here put a park right in the middle and then put five nights at freddy's too to the right hand side of his house but that is everything guys i showed you all the things i had to show you so let's go ahead and start building this map all right guys so for this build you're going to need a 37 by 32 spacing now i'm also going to switch it to nighttime because i noticed something you could see the glass a lot better at nighttime so let me go ahead and switch this to nighttime real quick because this might help you build this whole little layout this is the entire layout for the entire build so i'm just going to switch it to nighttime really quick and you'll be able to see the glass really nicely see how you can see every individual glass block so if you want to pause it here and build the whole entire layout so you don't have to hear me go okay this room's going to be 11 by 11 this room's going to be 12 by 12 and things like that i really think this will help out a lot however i'm going to switch it back to daytime and then we're going to start building this thing all right guys so once you've gotten your 37 by 32 spacing come to the bottom right hand corner right here and we're obviously going to be starting with the room that actually has the bed and the closet and everything because that's where most of this stuff's happening so we're going to come right over here to the bottom right hand corner and we're just going to count over five blocks one two three four five 
and this is where our room's going to be starting. Just to give you guys a heads up, just like all my other Five Nights at Freddy's map builds, this is not flush to the floor. I did bring this up one block, so if you are building this on Flatlands, pretend like right here is your grass level, and you're going to have to dig down one to add in your carpets and all that good stuff. This is a very easy build. All the carpets are going to be blue. So let's go ahead and start building this thing, guys. So the first room we're going to be starting off with, of course, the bedroom is going to be an 11 by 13 spacing. Once you've gotten your 11 by 13 spacing, literally just take out some blue wool and we're going to go ahead and fill in the whole entire bottom area with blue wool. Now, if you're wondering why I am not using the plastic texture pack, I really felt that this build looked a lot better with the normal texture pack. Just because the rugs and the ceilings have these nice little uh, kind of like these box, see how it has the boxy shapes in the wool and things like that. It has that feeling to it. So I went ahead and used this texture pack instead of the plastic one because the plastic one is a lot smoother and doesn't really have these blotchy looking blocks. Also, I forgot to mention, if you don't know what the green blocks are, those are just your doors, guys. These are all your individual doors. So it's very easy to remember from here. It's just three blocks from here, three blocks from here, and that one's three blocks from that one as well. So we're going to go ahead and start on the walling. The walling is very easy. We're just going to be using light gray stained clay and white stained clay. So we're going to go around the whole entire border with our light gray stained clay first around this whole entire border. The one thing I didn't like about this game that kind of when you had to bring it into Minecraft was I don't know why they made the walls orange for these two hallways. Like, I don't understand why they did that. But just go around the whole entire area. Obviously, you're going to have to skip the area where your door is going to be going. And we're just going to go around the whole entire thing. This is where our closet is going to be going. So skip that block and just bring it around the whole entire thing. Now we're going to go ahead and take out our white stained clay and bring that around three times above. So pretty much go up three blocks. One, two, three. And literally bring it around the whole entire thing three times. Now, if you are building this on survival, you can easily substitute this with wool or any other kind of color that is easier to get your hands on. All right, guys, so once you've gotten all your walls put in and your carpeting, go ahead and take out your carpet again. And where I put these green wool blocks, if you did put green blocks there, just trade it out with the blue wool. Literally, the whole entire floor is going to be blue wool, guys. You can change whatever you like. It doesn't all have to be blue wool. If it's something different, you don't need to tell me because we're not watching this in real time, so I can't do nothing about it. It's up to you guys. You can change whatever you like. So once you've gotten all the whole entire thing, and we're going to go ahead and do our closet now because it's pretty much the only big amount of redstone that I did in here, and it's literally nothing at all. So when we walk into our closet right here, actually, we're going to go ahead and take out pillar quartz blocks. You're going to need pillar quartz blocks, and we're going to have to put them on their side. So pretty much delete these three blocks here and put three pillars quartz blocks on their side. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Make sure you put them on their sides, guys. So put it right off the block like this, this, and this, and there's going to be our closet. And then on the inside right here towards the right, we're going to put three sticky pistons right here. One two three and then put three more quartz blocks on their sides just like that then right behind this one right here we're gonna go ahead and put a block put a torch on top of the block it should extend out the sticky piston put a block on top of this torch it should extend extend out the second sticky piston and then put a piece of redstone dust on top of that and that should extend out your third sticky piston then on this side right here we're gonna put a lever like this and then obviously all we have to do is come back right here and then right underneath where that lever is, see where this lever is? Let me just delete these blocks right here. See where that lever is? We're actually going to come out right here from the lever and we're going to bring it down. Now, you do not have to worry. You will not be able to see this right here because once we put in our dresser, it will cover up this area. So literally right next to this lever, come down a block and then put redstone dust like this, like this. Come down one more right here. Put some redstone dust here. And then we're going to have to go down at least one more, guys. So dig out this area. If you do put the glass here or whatever you have here, I'm going to come down a block next to our torch. Put a piece of redstone dust here and then we're gonna have to come down one more block so come right underneath it with one more block so just make sure you have enough room to dig down two you should definitely have enough room to dig down at least two and then we're just gonna bring this redstone dust going all the way over to here and then put a repeater going into that block like that so it should look something like this guys it's not that hard at all and then if we swing over here and flip down our lever the closet opens flip up the lever the closet closes opens closes next we're going to go ahead and put in our doors this can actually be tricky because sometimes the doors doesn't go in the way i like them to go because if i go right over here i see if i put the door in it swings open this way and in the game it does not swing open this way it swings out towards this way the kid peeks out and then he closes the door so to get the door in the right way what you're going to have to do is at least delete these two blocks right here put a door here put a door here and then delete this door right here so now if we go to open the door it should open the right way it should open outwards towards the hallway so boop it opens up towards the hallway so you peek out come back in and it closes back in now it might do the same thing here as well i'm not 100 sure and no it did not we did not have to worry about it on this side next what i'm gonna have you do is take out light blue stained clay obviously you can use a light blue wool and then just come right over here and we're gonna put in four blocks like this for our dresser so you can no longer see all that redstone and then put buttons along all of it just like that if you do click this button it will open the door but don't worry about that and then right up here is where the purple fan goes so we're gonna place a purple fan right up there 
then over here on this side we're going to place down two more light blue blocks for another dresser or kind of a little niche or whatever they call those and we're going to put two buttons right here and then obviously if you want to you can delete this button and put the little purple robot right here which i usually do or you can get rid of the purple robot and just add another button here but i'm gonna leave the purple robot there and then last but not least we're going to put a redstone lamp right here in the corner with a lever on the side of it and then we're going to go ahead and take out blue carpet and put it right on top of our lamps now if we flip this on it comes on and it goes off next one i have you do is put the toy in on the bottom there is two toys here however i just put the one here and i just put a slab like that next what we're going to do is add in some painting so right over here at the top right corner of our closet we have to put a painting in make sure it's only one block guys so we're going to put one in there that's fine whatever you can do whatever ones you want just make sure they're only one block and then right over here we're going to put one here in the corner one right up here make sure they're only one block guys and then one right here as well just like that so now that we got the entire front of the room done, we can go ahead and turn around and put our bed in. So to put your bed in, all you have to do is count from the corner four blocks. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to put three white stained clay blocks right here. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. And another time. One, two, three. Just like that. And then right here above them, we're going to delete these three blocks and put in three dark oak planks. Obviously, if you're doing this on survival, you can't get dark oak wood right now. So just use spruce. But that's going to be the headboard of our bed. And then we're going to take out three light gray stained carpets and put it right here for a little pillow area. And then right over here in this corner, we're going to take out our light blue stained clay once again. Put two blocks here. Put a lamp in the corner with a lever on the side of it. A blue carpet on top of it. And then two buttons like that. Next, what I'm going to have you do is take out your paintings and then put three paintings right here. One here, here, and here making a nice little pyramid. So one right here. One right here. Make sure it's only one, guys. So there we go. No, not the same. There we go. One, two and then no three that like that beautiful and that's going to be the whole entire back area of your bedroom next one you do is just fill in your closet now you can make the closet a lot bigger however you want to follow me just follow along the closet is going to be a three by eleven spacing and you can see the redstone is already taking up a little bit of it so literally just swing around this whole entire area like gray stained clay along the bottom area like this around your three by eleven spacing just like that and then put white stained clay along it once more making it three high just like we did with the bedroom so i'll come up three all the way around now once i've gotten the walls in for my closet what i like to do is come back down into the bedroom flip open the closet and then just add in my flooring right here so make sure you do not cut off the redstone guys or else it will close the closet so i usually just go like this around the whole entire area up to here just like that now the reason why i keep it even is because i just like things even so where the pistons are is usually where i keep the walling like that so just go ahead and put two blocks like that and put the walling in so as you can see it comes out one from this wall so i just do the same thing on this side as well if you want to make it a little bigger you can however i just like keeping it exactly the same just like that and now your closet is completely done so you can either hang the shirts in here Ooh, we got to come up one more right here so now the props are completely up to you guys. You can either put those hanging shirts in here or you can put Foxy in here. It really doesn't matter. Now that we've gotten the bedroom and the closet done, we can go ahead and take out white wool and just fill in the whole entire top. This is going to be our ceiling. So literally just go around the whole entire top guys with white wool. And then we're gonna add in one redstone lamp on the top. If this is in case you wanna put in the lamps at the top at the end, if you don't wanna do that, then you don't have to, if you really don't want to. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this entire area all right guys so now that i've gotten the whole entire ceiling in, what i like to do is come right over here to my closet and then we're going to come out three blocks from here one two three delete this block and this is where the redstone lamp is going to be going don't worry about hooking up the redstone to it right now we'll do that at the end all right guys so next what we're going to be doing is the outside hallways around the bedroom now the easiest way to do this is literally go around the entire room with a three wide gap in between it so as you can see there's a three wide gap in between the entire room going around the whole entire thing so just go ahead and do that however if you truly need a number it's going to be a 5 by 21 spacing from here to there so just go around the whole entire thing guys with brown stained clay so now take out brown stained clay and go around the whole entire thing until the end of that area right there so go all the way down until you hit the end of this corner right here like that and then stop and then right here we're gonna come up with orange stained clay so go around the whole entire thing up to three times like we did with the white stained clay here so we're just gonna go around one and then obviously two and three just like that so i'm gonna just skip ahead like i've been normally doing so once you've gotten that whole entire walling done here go ahead and do the same thing on this side literally just come out with your brown stained clay and bring it all the way to the end and then stop right here this should be at the exact same point of your bedroom closet right here and then we're gonna go up ahead and go up three more times with our orange stained clay 
Now for this back walling over here, we're gonna go ahead and change it up to light gray stained clay and white stained clay. Once again, like we did with the bedrooms. So come out over here with your light gray stained clay and then come up three times with your white stained clay. And then we're gonna do it one more time over there leading over to this way as well. So skip this three area right here for this hallway in case you are going to be doing this. And then we're gonna go ahead and do it one more time here all the way to the end like that. We're gonna have to do this whole the way around this one too, but we're gonna worry about that later. So we're gonna go ahead and go up right here three more times with white stained clay. Once you've gotten all your wallings put in for your hallways, go ahead and take out your blue wool and then go around the whole entire thing. Like I said, you can change it up if you want to. However, I'm just going to be keeping it blue wool the entire way around, just keeping it the same as the kid's bedroom. Because if you do play the 8-bit version, it does change, but it kind of looks like obsidian. And I tried obsidian, I thought it looked horrible. So I just kept it blue wool around the whole entire thing. So once you've gotten your carpets in for your entire hallways, come over here to the right hand side hallway and we're gonna go ahead and start doing our props over here. So go ahead and take out black stained glass. Now you can use whatever glass you want. I usually like using black stained glass here because it gives it that nice dark tint. So right where the door is, right when you walk out, we're gonna go ahead and delete these four blocks right here. One, two, and then the two to the left of it as well and place in our black stained glass like that. And then we're gonna skip a block and do it one more time. One, two, one, two. Put in your black stained glass just like that. Then I'm going to skip over a block from here, one, and then add a painting in here. It has to be a one tall painting like this. I normally like using the darker one. I don't think I'll get it. So, you know, let me just go ahead and just do any one I get now. So, all right, really? There we go. Oh, I actually got the one I wanted. So I like to put my painting in just like that. And then we're going to come over one more block right here. And we're going to go ahead and take out some dark oak wood stairs. And we're going to put one upside down like that. See how it looks just like this, guys. See how it's right next to it kind of. And then we're going to go ahead and put another one just like that as well. And then right over here, we're going to go ahead and put a lamp, put a le lever to the side of it so we can turn on and off our lamp, and then put some yellow carpet right on top of it. Now that this hallway is done, we can go ahead and move on to the next one. So go ahead and swing over here. Now to start on this one, right when you walk out the door, we're going to count over three blocks. One, two, go ahead and take out your dark oak wood stairs once again, and then put them upside down facing this way. And then another one upside down like that. So as you can see, if I come out the doorway, guys, one, two, three, and that's where our little shelving is going to be. Then we're going to put a lamp right here with a lever to the side of it and some yellow carpet on top of it. And then right when you walk out the door as well, we're going to go ahead and put a painting right up here. And it has to be another one like that. Beautiful. Just like, actually, I like using the dark one here as well, but like, ah, oh, I should have just left it. I'm just going to leave it. There we go. And then right from your lamp, you're going to skip one and put a one right here, a one up here. There we go. And then one down here as well. That's the one I wanted. This is the painting I wanted right here because that one actually fits that spot really well. All right, guys. So now that we've gotten both hallways done, we can go ahead and put our ceiling in. Before we do that, I want you to come right down here at the end of this hallway. And you see where this wall meets up with this wall right here. We're going to go ahead and put some more blue wool right here. And then right in the middle of it, guys, right here in the middle, we're going to go ahead and put a clock here. So one, two with dark oak wood. And we're going to put a stair right on top of it backwards. And then we're going to go ahead and put an item frame right here and then a clock inside the item frame. And that's where your clock is going to be when you peek your head out the door right here. So if you go like that, you can see the indication of the clock right there. Now all you have to do is take out your white wool once again. So go ahead and take out your white wool and literally fill in the whole entire top area. And once we get done with this, I'll go ahead and put in my redstone lamps. All right, guys, so now that we've gotten our ceilings put in, it's actually very easy to put in our lamps. Literally come to any side you really want to and just put it right in the middle of the hallway. See how it's right in the middle of this hallway and this hallway and then skip three blocks. Well, four blocks, I should say one, two, three, four, and put another lamp and do that all the way around the whole entire thing. So one, two, three, four lamp right here. One, two, three, four lamp right here and one, two, three, four. And as you can see, it matches up perfectly with this end hallway as well. Now, if we come over here, we're going to skip three, well, four again, one, two, three, four, and then put a lamp right here. Now do not go one, two, three, four and put another lamp here. Come over here to this corner and put a lamp right here and then skip four, one, two, three, four. Those are the only two that don't match up together. You can put one here if you want to, but then it kind of looks like there's too much. So I just went ahead and didn't put any there and then do the same thing right here, guys. So one, two, three, four four and go ahead and place a lamp in is that four yes okay so one two three four one two three four and one two three four like that and that's all your lamps for your hallway all right guys so next we're going to be doing is the hallway with that little doll spring trap at the end so as you see right here is the clock and then coming right off of the backhand side which should be perfectly even with the wall we're going to come right up here and we're going to need a 12 by 5 spacing and that is counting it from this wall so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so make sure you do count off the wall right here so it does start from the wall so it's going to be a 12 by 5 spacing 
So now go ahead and fill in your flooring. Like always, it's going to be blue wool around the whole entire bottom area, except for this block right here. This is where our seat's going to be going. So go ahead and fill in this whole entire thing with blue wool. And then we're going to fill in the wallings once again with our light gray stained clay. So right wherever you see a green block, this is where our doors are going to be going. Now, it's very easy to remember where that is because it's just one, two, three from this wall. So four, actually one, two, three, four. And then there's a door and then there's one, two, three, and then another door and then one, two, three. Same thing on this side, guys. So one, two, three, four, door, one, two, three, door, one, two, three. And that's the entire thing like that. Now we can go ahead and fill in our white stained clay, three more blocks high. So one, two, three, and do that all the way around the entire thing. Once you've gotten all your wallings put in, come here to the end and we're gonna delete these three blocks. One, two, three, delete these three as well. One, two, three, and place in blue stained glass here. You don't have to use blue stained glass, but I think it looks the best when it's nighttime. So when you're looking out here, you can also put a tree in the back. So it matches up perfectly with the game. Now we're going to go ahead and place in our seat. So right here where we didn't put anything, we're going to put an ender portal frame in here, or you can use an enchantment table, or you can use snow. It really doesn't matter. The only reason I do this is so your mine cart does not move once you put your seat in. So we no longer need our ender portal frame. Next, we can go ahead and take out our mine cart with our rail. And man, I am running out of space in here and I really need to clean up this area. So let's see, where is a block? Oh, we already got a block out. So right above your end portal frame, we're going to go ahead and place a block in, put a rail on top of the block, and then a mine cart on top of the rail, delete the block, and your mine cart should fall into where your ender portal frame is. So now you can't move it around anymore. As you can see, it will not fall out of the area it is in. Next, we're going to go ahead and take out a piston and a staircase. So I'm going to be using birch wood stairs. You can use whatever you like. And we're also going to need a redstone and a piston like that. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and put in our birch wood stair right here, just like that. And then put your piston facing inwards towards your birchwood stair going into your minecart and then place a redstone torch here and it should push in your birchwood stair inside the minecart so we can go ahead and delete this and now we can go ahead and sit inside this seat right here so there we go now we can sit inside the seat or you can do whatever you really want here it really doesn't matter next what i want you to do is take out your walling block once again and fill in these two top areas right here one two one two one two and then one two right here and then obviously we can delete these little green blocks if you did put them in and put in blue wool instead next what we're going to do is go ahead and place in our doorway so when we come over here and we place in our door make sure they are facing the right way they cannot be facing this way see how they're facing mine's facing this way it can't be doing that so if yours does end up doing that like that all you have to do is just delete these two blocks right here Go ahead and place a door here and a door here and now it will open up the right way and then go ahead and just place back in your walling so i'm gonna do the same thing over here placing my door i see it didn't go the right way so i'm gonna have to go door here here delete this door and then put back in my walling and then make sure they're open as well guys they have to be open just like the game we're gonna go ahead and place our door here i see this one went in fine and this one went in fine as well now right here is where the bedroom is with mangle in it so instead of putting uh, anything here we're gonna go right over here to these doorways and what i usually like doing is just putting some black stained clay right here like that now you can and add rooms here if you want to you can do whatever you want here however there is nothing here in the game so i went ahead and just put in black stained clay like that so no light seeps in through the doorways now we can go ahead and do the ceiling to this hallway now i'm not sure if it goes up in a point guys but it really does feel like it does go up in a point so what i want you to do is just make a nice little pyramid above this glass go one two three and one right here just like that next take out your white wool and literally just bring it right across all of these until you hit the end like that and do the same thing here bring it all the way across and then we're going to do that about four more times. So one, two, three, and last but not least, four. Now, once you got your roof put in, what I usually like to do is just fill in this little area with one block like this, or you can come out like that, just making sure it looks nice. And that's our whole entire hallway done. For this little section oh i forgot we also have to put that little x on the floor so what i like to do is i like to use a block of quartz and literally right here from the hole we're just going to count up three blocks one two three and put that one block right here on the floor just like that next we're going to go ahead and do the room with mangle in it so this room is going to be an eight by eight spacing coming out of that doorway from the right hand side of our hallway so once you've gotten your eight by eight spacing go ahead and take out your blue wool and literally just fill in the whole entire floor again with blue wool you could change whatever you like with any of the rooms however i'm just going to keep the entire thing blue wool so we're going to fill in this whole entire thing and then we're going to go ahead and start on the wall and the walling is the same as the hallway walling go ahead and take out white gray stained clay and bring it around the whole entire outer rim of your room and then bring this up three more times with white stained clay so bring that all the way up three times with white stained clay so once you've gotten your carpet and your walls put in, we can go ahead and start doing our props. So right over here at the top left-hand corner, we're going to go ahead and put in two dark oak planks. We'll put one, two, put two buttons coming off of it. Then right over here in the corner, we're going to put a lamp. 
with a lever coming off the side of it and then a piece of red carpet on top of your lamp then over here in this corner we're gonna take out red stained clay and we're gonna come out three times so one well i should just do it like this one two three one two three just like that and then at the top we're going to use two white carpets for the pillows and then right here we're going to go ahead and put in a painting it has to be a one block painting once again so let's go ahead and just get any one block painting just like that and then of course if you want to put mangled in mangled would go right here inside here now we can go ahead and put in our ceiling so we'll go ahead and take out your white wool and just fill in this whole entire top area with white wool once you've gotten your ceilings put in we can go ahead and put in our redstone lamp so right here in the middle i usually like just taking out a four block see how it's perfectly in the middle and putting four lamps just like that for the mangled room so now we are completely done with this room and we can go ahead and move onwards to the living room all right guys so last but not least all we have to do is the living room and we will be completely done so for the living room you're going to need a 17 by 10 spacing now the 17 does count for that little notch at the left hand corner so if you did count from here right there to here it is only 16 however this little notch right here makes it 17. so once you've got in your 17 by 10 spacing coming out from right over here we're just going to go ahead and fill in the entire area once again with blue wool as our carpet once you've gotten your carpet put in we can go ahead and put in our walling so once again we're going to use our light gray stained clay and our white stained clay and bring that around the whole entire lip of our build to so go ahead and around the entire thing with your light gray stained clay first obviously skipping the area where our door is going to be and then we're gonna have to bring it up three blocks with white stained clay so i'm gonna go ahead and skip this part once you've gotten your walling put in we can go ahead and do our props so let's go ahead and start off by doing our couch first so starting over here from the clock we're gonna count over four blocks so one two three four and then we're gonna put six blue stain blocks going that way so one two three four five six and then do it one more time in front of it one two three four five six and then put two up here at the top then at the back of our couch we're going to take out some cyan stain clay and put some cyan stain clay right here then take out blue carpet and put blue carpet right along the front of it and that's going to be our couch next we're going to go ahead and put in our tv so skip three blocks from your couch so one two three and put some acacia wood right here 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 like that so put four blocks of acacia wood and then put four blocks of black stained clay above it and then four more above that black stained clay as well then right here in the middle we're going to put two item frames with dark oak wood slabs in the middle so one two and then put those upside down just like that and that's going to be our tv then over to the left inside of this little notch we're going to put two upside down stairs in the corners right here like that i use the dark oak wood stairs and then a dark oak wood slab right in the middle just like that and then last but not least for the props we have to put in some painting so right over here next to this clock we're going to go ahead and put a painting in right here and then a painting down here as well it has to be one like that and then on this side of the clock we're going to put one right here one right here and one down here as well like that beautiful and that's going to be all our paintings and props completely done guys so now all we have to do is just fill in this ceiling as well so take out your white wool and start filling in the ceiling for your living room i almost forgot guys right over here next to where this orange wall is we do have to come out one more block like this and put in some white stained clay here as well just so you don't see that orange wool inside of your living room just like that so make sure you do do that and then go ahead and start filling in your ceiling once again now that we've gotten our ceiling put in, we can go ahead and put in our redstone lamp. So right over here in this corner, we're going to put a lamp right here and one in this corner. And now we're going to have to skip six blocks from this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to have to do the same thing on this side. But all you have to do is just follow this one and put another lamp in just like that. And then do the same thing one more time. But you could just come right over here to the corner, guys, and slap in your lamp there. You see there should be five blocks in between them. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. And then right over here, one, you know, just bring it right down here and put another lamp in just like that. And that's going to be all your lamps completely done now that we've gotten all the lamps put in all we have to do is just hook them together with redstone so right over here in this corner i like to go ahead and put my lever right here and then we can just dig out this area and where this lever is we're going to put a torch right behind it so if i flip down the lever the torch goes off flip it up the redstone torch comes on then we're going to go ahead and put a block right above our redstone torch with another redstone torch on top of it a block on top of that redstone torch and now all we have to do is take the signal from the top of this redstone torch to every single one of these lamps so what i like to do is just bring this all the way up right here and then bring this one going all the way down to this end over here like that and then bring this one up over to here then we're gonna go ahead and take out a repeater we're going to need a few repeaters for this so take out a repeater and put a repeater going this way towards that lamp right there with some redstone dust like that so now that should turn on all of our lamps inside of our living room so if i come over here and flip this on i see all our redstone lamps come on in our living room now all we have to do is hook up the ones to all our hallways and stuff so right over here we're gonna bring some redstone dust going right to here then we're gonna put a repeater here with a block in front of it and then bring redstone dust going all the way down to the end of this redstone lamp over here like that beautiful and then over here we're going to bring redstone dust going all the way down over to here like 
this and then we're going to put a repeater coming off of this one and put redstone dust going all the way down to the end of this one as well there we go and then bring redstone dust going from this one over to here so just bring it down going right over to this lamp like that and that should turn on all the lamps for the hallways and the bedroom right here so if i go inside here and i flip down my lever it should turn on all our hallway lights you see all our hallway lights are on and our bedroom light should be on as well and last but not least we just have to hook up mangle's room as well so right here i like to put just a repeater like this and then just bring redstone dust going down like that right over to here just like that and you are completely done guys that's the entire five nights at freddy's format so all we have to do is just add in some more white stained clay right here and right here and then i usually like using acacia doors right here you can use whatever doors you want so i'm gonna go ahead and slap those in and then of course you can make whatever outside you want but that's the entire thing done so let's go inside of it and check everything out Ooh, let's fix this as well so if we flip this down everything should come on so here is the living room the clock the hallway so there's one hallway two hallways the bedroom is right here with our working closet beautiful and then over here should be mangle's room or whatever the sister's room right here should be mangle's room like that there it is we can close that door no leave the doors open make sure to leave the doors open and then right here is where that little toy spring trap is and that is it guys you are completely done building the entire five nights at freddy's four map if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos and like i said if you are building this thing make sure to build it to the left hand side of the five nights at freddy's two map that should be right here all right guys peace